What's up guys? In this video I'm going to show you how to get insects in low light. So as you can see it's very dark down here. There's a dragonfly sitting on a blade of grass and with my point and shoot digital camera because of the technology in this camera I can still get amazing photographs. However the video quality would not come out as good as you can see if I hit record. It actually looks pretty good. But Nonetheless, you have some very nice technology in this camera. So if you have a point-and-shoot digital camera, it's kind of hard to see what kind of quality this is showing up as, but it's actually very nice. So here's the setup. It's a Canon PowerShot digital camera. You can get almost any model, and this is the most important part, is the clip-on Raynox macro lens that you can get on the internet for very cheap and you just clip it onto the front of your camera like this and you zoom in on anything from about a six inch distance and you get your focus and then you just take your photo so here's the dragonfly once again oh yeah it's still there so I'm going to zoom in on this dragonfly and get whatever distance I want and then just take however many photos I want as you can see here I can get an extremely close but the closer you get the further you have to move your camera back so I'm going to actually now whoops I'm gonna lift the tripod up and pull it backwards so be careful the lens just clips on so it can just fall off easily so let me get that back up and it's actually got wet now but you guys get the idea it's actually very easy to get close-up macro photographs with this setup and all you need is the digital camera and a clip-on macro lens and the dragonfly actually is moving around so I'm gonna be able to get an even cooler shot now so I'm gonna zoom in here get focused Now that's the blurriest shot I've ever taken, but you guys get the idea. You have to move the camera back and forth until you get the right focus. And once you get the right focus, just take a few shots and then keep the ones that you like most. And by the time you're done, you're going to have lots of amazing macro photos. So I can get in extremely close here, even in low light. It's about 7 in the evening, so the sun is already going down, and I am in a dark, shady place. So that's all there is to it. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Have fun taking macro photos.